Deer Creek Audio, your trusted technical resource. Multi-channel home theater systems can definitely be very high fidelity, yet we generally view stereo systems as a purer approach to music listening, because they don't have the extensive theater processing associated with an audio-video receiver or processor, which we'll call an AVR or AVP respectively. So why not use the best aspects of both your stereo and home theater components to create a dynamic, integrated system? With this hybrid approach, it's possible to build a blended, dual-purpose system by incorporating the advanced capabilities of the Mini DSP SHD or Mini DSP Flex. This method uses a high-performance audio system as the core left and right speakers and subwoofer, and seamlessly integrates it into a multi-channel home theater system. The Dirac Live Room and System Correction utilized in the audio system is carried over to the home theater experience. The first step is to build your stereo system, including the setup of all crossovers, delays, and Dirac Live projects. This ensures your stereo 2.1 or 2.2 system is fully optimized. Next, the audio video system is built around the stereo system with its center and surround speakers. The audio of the AVR needs to be set up with the main left and right speakers at full range, so that when the home theater calibration procedure is performed, the full audio spectrum is covered. After the home theater system has been integrated and tested with the stereo, the entire system is calibrated by your AVR using Odyssey, ARC, YPAO, Dirac, etc. When functioning as a stereo system, the AVR, AVP, and associated center and surround speakers are removed from the equation. Digital sources are streamed directly into the 2.1 or 2.2 system for a pure and unadulterated stereo listening experience. For movie night, the AVR and AVP utilize the stereo system as its main left, main right, and subwoofer speakers. In movie mode, the entire system is calibrated by your AVR using Odyssey, ARC, YPAO, Dirac, etc. In this example, the front left and right line level speaker outputs are connected to the two stereo inputs on the Mini DSP SHD. The SHD then handles the crossovers between the active subwoofers and main left and right speakers, as well as applying Dirac live room correction. The AVP is set for a large full range speaker with no subwoofer. Direct stereo music sources, including streaming services like Tidal or Cobas, can be streamed internally from the SHD. Or, music from a network area storage device, CD player, or room can be incorporated as high-definition audio sources for stereo listening. This example uses the more affordably priced AVR, with built-in amplifiers and the Mini DSP Flex in a single-ended RCA configuration. This example shows a stereo 2.2 woofer configuration, where either one, or two subwoofers, are being driven by the Mini DSP Flex. This example splits the subwoofers between the AVR and the stereo's Mini DSP system, and may be required in some setups where the main speakers cannot be configured as full range. It also may provide additional flexibility desired by the user. The order in which the system is set up and calibrated is important. First, the core stereo system is set up and calibrated using REW and or Dirac live room correction using standard project procedures. After confirming that the stereo system is optimized, you will connect it to the main outputs of your AVR and AVP and begin calibration of the home theater system using your preferred AVR correction process, Odyssey, ARC, YPAO, Dirac, etc. The stereo system is viewed as a pair of perfect front main speakers by the AVR and AVP. Please refer to the examples discussed here when selecting the speaker type configurations. At this time, 
you will select the nominal level for the SHD, such as negative 10 decibels. Once this step is complete, continue with your AVR or AVP correction process. When switching between home theater and pure stereo modes, there are two settings you need to make on the Mini DSP SHD, from either the front panel or remote control. First, set the SHD master volume. For example, negative 10 decibels for the setting prior to performing your home theater correction process. Next, you will select the analog input from the AVR or AVP to the SHD, either analog RCA or balanced. When it's time to go back to stereo listening, simply select whichever direct digital source you like, such as Rune, Tidal Connect, your NAS, CD player, etc. If a turntable is part of your stereo setup, you will need to connect it using a phono preamp, with an analog output that is alternate to the one you are using for the AVR or AVP connection.